I am Rebecca. I'm showing off my Tab 400. It's a 2019 and I have uh, had just some wonderful memories in her. Uh, we call her the Ready, the ready Beacon because uh, she's always ready to go and spread some love, spread some light. So, okay. Um, so, uh, she's gray and black. Um, this right here and I can, uh, is the um, the, it's kind of like a pass-through storage area. It doesn't go completely through because you have the Aldi system on the other side. Um, but right now you can see I have the tent that I bought for her. It's a full tent that comes out in here as well as um, the uh, any hoses and things like that which I can show you when we go on the inside too because it opens up underneath the bed as well. Um, the batteries are in here too for the solar. Um, and there is the little lock thing to hold that up when you need to. All right, if you come around on the back side, you can see you have uh, the stargazer window, which is amazing. And if you can see just up over the top, there is solar panels up there. I think it's like something like 230 or 260 watts. Um, so more than enough to run the entire camper with the exception of the air conditioner. So you can run the fantastic fan up there, everything, just not um, the air AC with that. Okay, if you come around on this side, <coughs> you have your water, or your pump, or sorry, your sewer hose is in here. It holds exactly a 15 foot with the coupler piece at the bottom in here safely. Um, this is the exhaust for the Aldi heater which the Aldi heater if you don't know about that that is like a it's a radiator system it so it, it boils your hot water for you and keeps that ready to go and it also heats the entire inside as as a radiant heat which is awesome it takes a little longer to heat up but it's not a dry heat like you're used to so you're not gonna wake up with a dry nose and a dry mouth um, in here is the Aldi system the, by, the hot water bypass, um, all of that is in here. You can also control your water temperature from here. Uh, so super easy to get to everything right there. This is your, uh, your electric plug-in. This is your, <laughs> I don't open this much because I don't watch TV, but this is your, uh, we're just gonna leave it, but it's your cable plug and the, the antenna is up there. This is your city water connection and your um, and your your water tank. It holds a 30 gallon fresh water tank um, and you have an 18 gallon gray water and an 18 gallon black water tank and you can see that over here it comes through the same pipe so when you're um, letting the black water out you'll do that first and then you can let the gray water out and it'll kind of clean that for you you have an outdoor shower which does do hot and cold running water and then this is a black tank flush and you can see you just hook your water hose right up to it it's real easy if you need that extra oomph. now I did want to show you this I uh, grazed one of those um, those uh, it's it's like the guardrails at the gas station so I just barely grazed it and so I did crack this fender the part is ordered and on the way it was a $60 fix that I'm doing myself so um, very thankful for that um, but I did uh, call the company and verify that everything was okay with them and with uh, a dealer uh, closest to me so uh, that's fine so that'll be replaced in about a week or two um, this is the air conditioner. It does come with a, a vent cover um, that I have in the car. Um, these don't open, so these are like portal window windows. They're amazing, uh, but they don't open. You can see I just redid the seals on them, so those seals are curing because um, those needed to be redone. Um, on this side, you have just uh, one of the regular jacks that you just go up and down with. Uh, it, I don't have the electric one on there because New Camp didn't offer that at the time. You can replace it though. It's not very expensive if you want an electric one. Um, 
I did use a, uh, a weight distribution hitch for a little bit before I put struts on my Tahoe. And so I left those here because I just figured it would be easier in case somebody wants to use that. They're there. Um, this is not the boondocking edition. So you don't have the really big um, tank space. It's the smaller one. Again, you can uh, contact New Camp and order one of those and you can get a bigger one put on if that's what you want. Um, but you, you, I, I do have the, the diamond plating here for, for protection. And um, uh, come on up and they can, you can take a look down inside of here of everything I have stashed in here. So this holds a 20 gallon propane tank. I've got my leveling chocks in here. Um, and I've got the thing for the sewer. I've got uh, this in here. I Just because I'm scared half to death, I'll lose this thing, which is for uh, putting the um, these right here, the, the stabilizers down. Um, you just attach it to that. I do have an electric drill that I use sometimes, but uh, this has worked really great. It came with the camper, so I usually put that just inside, just in case something could slip out. Um, okay, um, let's go inside. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, this is, um, if you want to hook up like an electric grill or something like that, or a TV outside, you actually can do that. It's set up for that. So, um, this is the fabulous door. I love this thing. Um, this is where we keep our trash. Not everybody does that because some people think this is too small, but it holds the shopping bags beautifully. And I store my shopping bags up here for that. Uh, up here I put flashlights and, um, and bug spray if I need it. And you have the uh, fire, fire hydrant. It's not a fire hydrant, is it? What's it called a again? fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. And that's my lovely sister back there. You're hearing her voice. Um, these are true blackout shades. They're amazing. So you have where you can do like a nice little peephole if you want, or you have um, all the way open or just um, complete blackout shade. Come on in. Um, so I'm not quite sure what all you can see, uh, but I have it decorated for Christmas um, because we've been traveling to visit family for Christmas. So this dinette um, has storage up underneath here and I usually store like stuff for that came with the camper or cleaning supplies under here so that is right here this whole thing flips up and it's quite nice some people I've heard store their shoes in it because it's big enough for that too um, but you can move this this can fold down and so this swings up underneath there and then you can turn this into a couch with like a, it's like a coffee table or a foot rest, um, or you can turn it into a bed, depending upon how you put the cushions. So very versatile. I've actually had five people, five grown women sitting around this table before, which was a lot of fun, but usually we just have three. We usually put my son over there and me and my husband over here. Now, um, can you see a little bit further on the inside? So this turns on and I'll turn on the accent lights and the sink lights as well as this up here. So I'm not sure if you can see this or not. You have, I'll show you this first, I guess. This is like double pane um, screen. So you can leave these windows all the way open at night and no bugs are gonna get through if you want to just sleep kind of like you're in a fancy chin. Um, but this is lit up all the way around. I'm going to put my arm in here so you can see how deep it actually goes. We, um, we had most of our school books up here because um, we, we homeschool. And so when we were traveling around, my husband was in Baghdad and Kuwait for a year. And so we went everywhere in this uh, gorgeous little thing. Um, so this space, you've got several different little cubbies in here. Um, I'll move out of the way so she can come up and you can see that. So you've got cubbies on either side of it and it's really, really nice. I, I had all my office supplies in there and um, 
you also have those blackout shades in here as well. Um, one of the things that I can show you, which is really nice, is you have these, they say these are like European style um, windows because they open completely up. So all you have to do is push and these open all the way out. So you have just awesome airflow, okay? And they, they lock into place um, when you want them open for a long time. So, so not good at this right now. Okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I'll just pull this down uh, so we're not getting quite the amount of heat coming through there. Um, okay, so if we go this way, I left certain things out so you could just kind of get a, an idea of the space. So this is the kitchenette area. Um, this is a two burner stove. I evidently have a little bit more salt and pepper in there that I need to get out. Um, this is the sink and these just kind of, as you can see, I, I have uh, all sorts of things there. Let me turn on the water pump. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's pretty faint, but you can see everything is working beautifully. Uh, I've got a little air in there because I'm running out of water in there because I am probably going to winterize it soon if I have to go north with it. Um, but right now it's a balmy 75 degrees here in Florida, so we're good. This um, is just a massive amount of storage, and I just wanted you to see um, how deep it really is. Again, we had, uh, this is my tea kettle that I would keep in there. I would keep my crock pot in here, all sorts of stuff. Um, and I would keep drinks and food and all sorts of things down there as well. There's just a massive amount of space in this camper. Um, I can't say enough about the space. It is definitely one of the main reasons why I purchased it. Um, up here, I chose I chose not to get the microwave. You can get a microwave right here, but I chose not to do that because number one, I wanted the storage. I didn't need a microwave. I don't really use one very much. And um, it had that beautiful design and I didn't want to mess with that design. So I left some things in here just so you can kind of see how much space is actually in this. Um, so much space that I have a, a, uh, a plate shelf where I can divide the space for myself. Um, so I have one of those big blender bottles in here, uh, one of the large soups, uh, and still just plenty of room. I've got a, a cutting board. Um, yeah, so I used this a lot for pantry space, but I know a lot of people use it for clothes and things like that. I put up these little command clips, um, which help with all sorts of things. I forgot to show you this, and we're gonna use it now because the cat decided she was going to come in and I just kicked her out. Um, so you have a screen here as well, if you didn't know about that, but we're gonna leave that up because I don't want the cat in here. Uh, my little boy's allergic to cats, so that's not gonna be good. <laughs> um, so this is like the amazing uh, spice and uh, silverware drawer. It comes with this thing inside of it, and then there's all this space in the bottom. So I keep um, cookbooks. I have a cookbook in here. I have my apron in here. Uh, some I use like my measuring tools. I have all my spices and my dish soap in here. Uh, I have honey in here cleaning stuff. I mean, just the whole gamut. Everything fits in here. And sometimes I put my really large, um, uh, uh, like the, the, the stuff you grill on the big grills with, it actually fits up underneath here. So the big giant tongs and the big basting brush and stuff like that, I put that in there. This opens from this side. So just bring the camera around this way. But this, um, this drawer is so so big. It's so big. Do you see all that space? Um, really, really massive. I did, I put all sorts of things in there. Um, 
this was a part of our pantry space. I put a lot of uh, dry goods or canned goods down here because if you notice the, um, the craftsmanship is really good. This is all solid wood and you can see on the side, it's even been dovetailed. I mean, everything is like that. So just really beautiful craftsmanship. Um, and uh, can't say enough about the quality of work that New Camp puts out. This is a Norcold, and I left all of my stuff in it. You can swing around and look at this too because there is so much space in this thing. You can actually fit 24 bottles of water in this. Um, I, I never had an issue. I could fit an entire week's worth of food in here for three people. Um, okay, let me, my little boy brought me this while we were filming so I'll put that up there um okay let's do the closet real quick so the closet actually has a light in it if you need to see but then you also have an extra light which it, it I don't know if you could see that but it sort of tilts downward uh, this is the extra cushion for the dinette by the way but they did that because right here in this compartment is actually the bypass when you're when you want to winterize so you literally lift this up put your RV um, uh, antifreeze, just sit it right there. And then I've already put the, the winterizing kit in it. It's that clear uh, tubing down there. And you just turn on your pump and let it go and it'll winterize uh, super, super easy. Also, I'm gonna just steal the camera really fast. That is your Aldi water heater. So that's where the glycol is at. It's a type of antifreeze. And um, it, you will hear it kind of bubbling and churning, um, and so it, it radiates the heat for you. These drawers are awesome. I fit all sorts of things in there. I use like the little storage um, things for your, uh, the storage things for your um, it, like luggage cubes. I put the luggage cubes in there, and then sometimes I stack them right here, and I've always had plenty of space doing that. Um, and again, I, I fit three seasons worth of clothes in here. So really nice. Um, okay. So you have your, um, carbon monoxide, uh, thing, a uh, detector right here. Um, and your fuse box right here. So everything is super easy. It's out of the way, but it's really super easy and everything is labeled for you. And they label it by hand because they're checking all of that before they give it to you which is really cool. Um, okay, so the entertainment system, you got a speaker here. There's two speakers on either side back there that are inside of those top cubbies. So yeah, they're inside those top cubbies. They're, you can't really see them, but they're there. So one here, and then you actually have one more around on this side. I'm gonna steal the camera and turn on that light there and you can see it right here. So this does DVDs, it'll do um, whatever local networks you're plugged into, CDs, all that. Um, and you can even plug in a USB here or an aux cable there. These have night lights or if you push and hold, you get really bright lights. Um, same, I'm gonna let her hold that again. This is the same bug uh, screen that is just like awesome. I say that and then a fly decides to join us because we live in Florida next to a bunch of horses. Sorry. Um, and then as you can see, that will just go completely black for you, which is amazing. Um, and again, this will go all the way up and it is your exit point for uh, emergencies if you were to need that. Um, the TV swings out for you if you want to watch something over in the dinette. It'll swing outward for you. Um, and it locks in place. Um, I'm going to steal this again because it's just easier. So here we have, um, you can turn this button on and this is for this right here. And then you have an outlet that's hooked into the inverter if you are on your solar. So you still have an outlet even on solar. You have the normal ones right there, which are great to plug in if you have a 
uh, maybe like a kitchen appliance or something you want to plug in. You also have more of the same thing there, USB outlets. Um, this little thing comes down if you don't want it up, but we keep it up because we really like the extra little bit of space and it doesn't bother us. Over here are the remotes, more uh, plugs or outlets. It came, the camper came with this wonderful little contraption, which is constantly telling me the temperature inside, which you can see it's, it's 70, almost, close to 80 degrees outside and it's 60 something in here. Um, and uh, 56 uh, percent humidity. So um, I have damp reds in here for that very reason because we're in Florida. Um, and you can see that that space up there is awfully deep as well. I'm too short to actually reach all the way back to it. Okay, now you have another nice big window here. Um, you're seeing my dad's camper out there. Sorry. Um, and a bunch of mess where I was cleaning the camper. Okay, so we're going to show you the bathroom because the bathroom's amazing. This is a wet bath. And... Um, it's just awesome. This has been wonderful. I put this down on the floor uh, so you can stand on that. And then uh, when stuff is draining down, when you're using it, you don't, you're not standing in any of the wet stuff. Um, but this right here, if you are camping in cold weather, this is amazing. This is part of the heater system right here. So this whole thing will feel like a tiny little sauna. So if you're uh, boondocking and you're just doing a quick Navy shower, um, as I call it, uh, you are gonna stay warm and toasty the whole time. Um, even though it's only got a three gallon hot water tank in it, this is it right here, this is the hot water tank. I, I've never run out of hot water. Um, and I take really long showers because I have really thick hair. Um, so the sink folds down, just like this, the one in the kitchen folds up. Um, this one folds down and out. And this has always been really great as well. Um, the shower is can go up or down this pole. So if you are washing your hair over the sink, because some people like to wash their hair, you know, in the sink because it's just easier, you can do that. Um, if you want to cover your whole body with the water, you can do that. If you just want to wash off your feet, you can either use the outside shower or in here. Um, again, I left a few things in here so you can just see the depth. Um, uh, I'm a girl, so I have lots of toiletries. Um, so this will normally be like halfway full and then I use up here and here just to fill towels, towels and washcloths and things like that. Um, you have a GFI outlet right here as well and have lots of light in this. Um, you have a fan. Um, so just uh, really, really great. There's some towel hooks here. And then what you do is you just pull this out and around and it goes, the shower curtain literally goes all the way up to the edges. And so the only thing exposed is this and yeah, everything works and functions really great. And like I said, we've, we've used it for two years now and the thing practically looks like it, it hasn't been used at all because the craftsmanship is just wonderful. Um, plus I have taken good care of her. So, um, Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I didn't show you the fantastic fan. It can go either direction. Uh, you just unlock it, lift the lid, and then you get some massive airflow in here very quickly. Um, so, uh, yeah. All right. So, um, I think that's everything. Thank you so much for uh, watching our video. And... Um, I hope you love her as much as I do. Bye. I forgot to show you the bed and the pass-through storage. So the bed, I use a Betty's bed on it, um, but I have a mattress cover and then a, like a memory foam topper. But I also, what's really amazing is this frolly system. It's like box springs. So it makes the bed super comfy. It's broken into three pieces so that you can lift up the different areas like this. You have your inverter right here and then all that space to 
uh, store all of your cables and things or however you want to do it. I would store my art supplies in here as well and toys for my little boy. And then if you lift up this side, it's the Aldi system. So you can get straight to that very easily. And uh, the other side, um, like I showed before, is accessible from the outside. And uh, yeah. So, all right. Thanks.